Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for July 16, 2017. Um, just an outstanding weekend for finds uh, this week. Probably, probably the best of the year so far. Got some great stuff to, to show you. A lot of big lots. Spent a lot of money, but uh, should make a good bit too. Um, might even be a two-parter today. Uh, we'll see how fast I can get through it. Uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, first up, Wheel of Fortune Umbrella. Um, new with the box, uh, five bucks on that nice big umbrella. Oil painting. Um, couldn't pass up for five bucks. Uh, Helen E. King, Sea Witch, $190. Got that for five. And the uh, wormholes were free. A uh, couple pair of Fenton uh, candlestick holders. Uh, bought a huge box of Fenton uh, during the week last week. We put it on already. I uh, should have did a video. But uh, picked these up. They were $5 uh, this weekend. Uh, just an unbelievable box of Fenton. I mean, it was I paid a hundred for it, but uh, it's uh, limited edition pieces, museum pieces, uh, signed pieces, uh, um, some great stuff. Uh, should do well with that. A uh, little letter letter opener. Got it for a buck, but it's a sword. Um, you know, maybe a ten dollar piece. Decoys. Uh, decoys always do well for me. This is uh, carved. I did a nice detail on the uh, feathers. Uh, signed. Cannot make that signature out. B A C K I M. Acom. Talton. 1986. Nice looking duck. Uh, got him for 10. Uh, Victoria's Secret prize, uh, they had $5 piece, got them for $5 for both, still in the pack, these are pretty neat, got a whole box of It Sticks, suede shoe cleaner, got a very 1940s, 1950s look to them, uh, $2 for the whole box, I have no idea, uh, what I can get for them. Sell those individually. Whole stack of model airplane news. Um, we'll go through, pick out the uh, covers that are neat. Lots of guys will uh, love the graphics on that one. Lots of guys will take these and uh, and frame them. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so it was, a, it was a few dollars for that whole stack. Uh, my son's, my son Nathan's gear here, he picked up, uh, um, a couple of, uh, let's see, the shovel cover, canteen cover in the first aid pouch. Uh, I think he paid like 15 for everything. Not bad for genuine World War II stuff. Okay, uh, the big haul of the weekend. Um... It wasn't cheap. Uh, you're looking at $600 here. But let me, uh, let me, uh, well, first of all, let me give you a, a quick overview. Now, quick quiz if you watch my videos, which one of these do you think is my favorite? Okay, little interruption there. Um, which one of these knives do you think was my favorite out of the entire lot? That would be this one. It just, it's probably the worst shape of everyone here, but uh, looks like it's been in the ground. Uh, you can see there's a guy here 
and up in the tree. Maybe you can see it. Oh, you can see it better on this side. There's a guy standing here, and up in the tree is some kind of large, maybe a bear or a cat or something. Just, uh, just a cool piece. Um, may end up uh, keeping this for myself. It's even got a hole in it for it rusted through. But out of all of them, that's my favorite. Uh, let me go over these with you. Bowie knife, Edge brand, okay knife, nothing great. Uh, World War II machete from 1943. Uh, this is a case where the scabbard might be worth more than the uh, the knife. Uh, this is a um, hard-sided uh, sheath scabbard. Um, normally what you see with these is a uh, canvas or leather scabbard. Uh, so I have to do a little research into that. Uh, we got a uh, Western. This one's probably a really, really nice piece. This is a uh, USN Mark I uh, PAL knife. This one I didn't take out for some reason. No, it's just a just a western. A couple buck knives. Uh, this one's pretty good. It's a uh, Kinfolks. Um, York Cutlery Company. Uh, the Deerfoot is a uh, Johnson Cutlery Company. Uh, three knives here. That's got a really nice look. Um, Finland knife. You see it says uh, made in Finland. Cool knife. Look, kind of looks like a uh, Bakelite handle. Um, Gerber folding knife with uh, the sheath, a, uh, it's a case scabbard, but uh, the knife is kind of marked, it's kind of worn off. Um, the Bowie knife, a uh, little worried about the Bowie knife. If you look that handle does not look like a factory handle. I've never seen a Bowie knife with a handle like this. I think somebody took the old handle off and put this one on. I mean, look at the gaps around the bolsters there. That wouldn't come from the factory like that. Still a nice case uh, case knife. Uh, Love the old sheath. Um, if that was, if that is all original, which I doubt, you're looking at a hundred fifty dollar knife. In that condition, less than a hundred. Uh, USMC Camillus K-Bar knife. Uh, there's a uh, uh, Kukri uh, miscellaneous uh, scabbard. Uh, so there you go. We'll list these individually, um, but. Uh, like I said, uh, got 600 into it. Oh, and I missed the most important piece of all. The uh, Civil War sword. Shark skin handle. Made by, it's a, uh, from what I can tell, it's a model 1860 officer sword. Made by Riddabrock, Riddabach of New York. Just a, uh, Really, really cool piece. Definitely original. Um, the sword alone, I'm going to put like 400 on it or best offer and see what happens. But uh, just.
just a really well done uh, period piece. Uh, moving on, uh, my wife's little corner. Um, she picked up a basket for two bucks, meat basket, hammock for ten, and a little birdhouse slash planter for two bucks. Uh, mortar and pestle I picked up. Uh, that was twelve. That's about a thirty forty dollar uh, mortar and pestle. Uh, little wooden box. Love the hinges on it. Um, little jewelry box. That was two dollars. Couldn't pass that up. Uh, the little car lot. Twenty dollars for everything. Uh, I got these from a dealer friend of mine. He's like. I, I don't know why this guy he bought them from had $50 on them, uh, but I did look this one up. It looks like this one's bringing $15, um, so figure somewhere around there. Uh, the little cars are from uh, 1993. Um, so. We'll see. Normally that stuff, I kind of stay away because he just mass produced so much of the uh, racing stuff. But uh, $20 for the entire lot. Couldn't pass it up. Uh, the little rack is kind of cool. Got that for $2. And it is a uh, magazine rack. And it hangs hangs on the wall. Uh, it's a nice uh, uh, pressed in uh, decorations there. The little shelf is cool. Little uh, looks like it's had a little knickknack on there probably for 50 years. Uh, well, well done. Like a black forest type uh, shelf. Uh, washable under pads. <laughs> kind of a weird thing to buy but it's 11 of them. Got them for $20 for the entire box. Uh, they're selling on eBay $12 each with uh, free shipping, so um, still some money to be made there. End up clearing 50 bucks uh, out of that box. Uh, the photographs, still got to do some uh, uh, research into the guy. Signed, they're all signed, all done by the same side guy. Fireside portrait, well done. Uh, C. S. McCamry, C. Uh, A. M. Cammy, C. A. M. A. Y. Um, some water damage to him, but uh, cabin in the pines. Um, the girl, the girl again. Yacht and schooner. Uh, portrait, portrait. Kind of neat. Um, so, do a little research into the guy and uh, see what that is. It's uh, 10 pictures here. Got them for $9. Oh. Uh, take a look. This is Texas Wear. Something that is something to keep on the lookout for. It's uh, something a lot of people pass up because they don't know, but it, it's marked Texas Wear. Um, you ever go into these estates where um, you could just walk through the house, look in the kitchen cabinets, and you might find a stack of these. I paid uh, $30 for the four bowls and uh, um, I've sold these in the past got right around $30 a piece actually the small one might bring more than the big ones although I do like this uh, red and orange one uh, but be on the lookout for those uh, etching two bucks signed 1933 uh, with water damage um, lone wolf damage two bucks a uh, painting 
Um, nothing great. D. Antonio Antino. Uh, check out a stack of uh, autographed pictures here. Jack Palance, and I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, my dad is unable to respond personally. Thanks for your support, Cody Palance, and. I guess it says Cody Palance, or, or is that signed Jack Palance? I don't know. Um, not quite sure who that is. Gene, Gene something. There's uh, Jill, Jill Eikenberry. Barbara Streisand might be a good one if that's original. Um, so, to David, all the best. Something, Scott, uh, can't make it out. Uh, Willard Scott, a couple of him, and uh, Dennis Weaver, uh, autograph photo. So, 25 for everything. I think that'll be uh, a good one. Uh, Tonka truck, car carrier, uh, eight bucks for for the whole thing. Uh, not that not that great of a deal, but uh, it's got the nice uh, old style box of fishing lures. Fifteen for everything. Uh, we'll break that into a couple of uh, a couple lots, like the big uh, red devil uh, spoons and uh, the uh, the fish on its side is kind of a neat lure. Uh, probably one of the best buys of the weekend right here. It doesn't look like it. Um, but, uh, take a look. I was at a yard sale, and this caught my eye. This is just unusual looking. And, Special Tomato by Convad. Um, 20 bucks, and, uh, not really wasn't really sure I mean it looked quality to me um, crash tested WC 19 compliant I mean it just it screams quality so got it for 15 didn't even look it up till I got home and was very surprised when I see that $20 chair is um, going for 2000 uh, brand new. Uh, actually, one just sold on eBay uh, for $1,000 uh, recently. So, <laughs> that's where this one's going. Lady said she got it and never used it. Um, I believe her. There's no wear on this chair. So, a uh, really cool piece. Um, special tomato. You ever see that? Make sure you buy it. Uh, check out the chairs. Uh, it might be a stretch calling these mid-century modern, but uh, I think I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, they weigh a ton. Uh, I uh, carried them both at the same time. Back to the car. Uh, but I couldn't pass them up. $10 a piece. Uh, they rock. They rotate. Um, just some cool, really cool chairs. Um, I'm not sure what I can get for those. Love the box. Um, a friend of mine gave this to me. It was full of rusty tools. He's like, you can have the box, but give me all the rusty tools. And I started pulling the tools out and found this little, this little vice. And he's like, okay, you can keep that one too. But really neat box. This is 20 millimeter. Olercon Mark II. Olercon Mark II was an anti-aircraft gun used. They say it's still used today in some places. Um, it replaced the uh, 50 caliber uh, machine guns on the ships uh, during World War II. 
uh, give them a little bit more reach and punch uh, by going to the 20 millimeter. But this is the uh, toolbox to maintain these uh, guns, it's spare parts and tools that went in here. Um, gonna clean it up a little bit, take off the loose dirt and everything, but uh, it's it's just a great box. I love this thing. Um, can't find any other examples of it uh, for sale. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a decent price on this. Uh, check out the lights. Bought these for myself. Uh, we're gonna use them in the backyard. Thinking about putting a uh, koi pond in, and these would look great uh, up around it. Um, this part sits over top the light. These, they weigh a ton. It's uh, steel, welded uh, bottoms. Um, just a really, uh, really cool piece. Uh, Twenty bucks for the pair of them. The price was right. Uh, they were used at a restaurant and uh, um, as I get interrupted with the saw um, they were used at a restaurant setting and uh, I'll end up repurposing them uh, for myself a pair of leather chaps Daniel Smart uh, pretty good condition um, did really good with that uh, uh, Harley Davidson jacket I had. Um, paid 40 and got 125 for it uh, last week, week before. So, uh, so there we go before I get drowned out again by the saw. Uh, check out my stuff, Terminal 99, which is where most of this stuff will be appearing over the next week. So until next time, this will be yourself, Bob. We'll talk to you soon.